Thanks, Alex. And across Texas, we're getting an idea of what legislative priorities will come out of the next session at the Texas Capitol. Lieutenant Governor Dan Patrick released provisional charges for committees to help lay the groundwork for the 2025 session. One of those includes banning Delta 8 and Delta 9. Our Monica Madden spoke with a cannabis attorney about the patchy laws around the products nationwide. Delta-8 and Delta-9 are chemicals in cannabis and hemp plants which create the same high feeling users get from marijuana. A loophole in the definition of hemp in the 2018 U.S. Farm Bill allowed derivatives of hemp like Delta-9 to get on the market. But some people believe more regulation is needed. Inspection of this is pretty loose. There's just way too much volume for the regulators to keep up with. The FDA has warned that some manufacturers might be using unsafe chemicals to convert CBD into Delta-8 and Delta-9. It can come from a sketchy source that's just pumping out a high volume of something popular and they don't care what's in it. And who knows what kind of solvents and other types of chemicals are in these products. Who knows if how they're tested. Now, Texas lawmakers are looking at possible changes, but the state's agriculture commissioner says the jury is still out on the issue. I don't know that it's a huge problem. I don't see, you know, headlines where people have abused that or committed crimes or anything like that. But uh, I do agree with him. We need to dig into that and get, get the facts and see where, where we go from there. Texas banned Delta 8 in 2021, but a court injunction has allowed the products to stay on the market for now.